Can you briefly explain why you would choose these levels on the sticky note? Does it cross an MA? What's, what's up with that, right? So here's my sticky note for today. So let's talk about some levels. I have Neil Long at 10. I have CRM at 136 support, Rivian uh, 17 short, and Microsoft 238s, right? So, you know, that's a $10 break. Now, the reason why we have $10 break is just, it doesn't look great on a chart, but I like to use even dollars. So that right here is actually a $10 bottom, and here are some $10 tops as well before flushing down to nine. 960. Why do we choose 10? Because again, this bottom here is 969.50. So if we can get a break of 10, we have a one-to-one -one up to its past high. So that's why I choose that level. And then I said I'd go, go for more, but Rivian's a pretty easy one here for me. I could do Microsoft. Microsoft might be more interesting at 238, but that's been downgraded today. Rivian, I mean, it's pretty easy here. It's been straight downside. Now, if we get a bump up to 18, that's great. Some of these other past resistance levels. And all I do is try to make trading as simple as possible and not make it rocket science. There's a lot of other people that will draw crazy lines, Fibonacci's, this and that, retracement levels, moving averages. I'll use them during the day once I get in. But when I'm here looking at key levels, I just simply use support and resistance. So key levels on the upside and on the downside is what we're looking at.